Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share my salon blowout routine that I do when I want my hair to look like I just walked out of a salon and got my hair blow dried. Um, I'm not the best at blow drying my hair. It's definitely a weak spot of mine. I feel like it's really hard for me to get in there and do all the little like flips that they do with a round brush. Um, definitely better with a straightener. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve a quick and easy way to get that salon blow dry. You can see that right now my hair is just like really, really flat and really straight and I'm not the biggest fan of when my hair is pinned straight. Um, so instead of always doing those beachy type of waves, sometimes I'm in the mood for that salon blow dried look. Uh, so for that you're gonna need a round brush. This is the one that I use and it's by Dry Bar and you will need a blow dryer. Um, I This is the Dyson blow dryer that I use just for the front. For me, the front is like the most important thing with my hair. So I use the blow dryer just to get the front and then I will pin it up with these pins and it looks like that. And you will also need a straightener and I am using the GHG straightener and I'll link all of these products below. Um, and then you'll also just need a clip to clip up your hair. So I'm using one of these clips. And also a comb just to brush out the front for when I blow dry the bangs. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with blow drying the bangs and then I'll show you how I really get the rest of my hair to look like I just got it professionally done. So I'm taking about that much from the front and then I'm gonna clip the rest of my hair back. So now I'm going to unclip my hair and I'm going to start to show you how I get that blow dried effect. I'm going to split my hair just into two sections and then I'm going to split it in two and bring everything to the front. All I'm going to do now is just take section by section about this much hair and I'm going to start taking the straightener and then curving the hair under like that so you get something that looks like that. And then I'll just twirl it as the heat is setting to sort of keep the shape. And then I'm gonna go around my entire head that way. And you're gonna get an effect like that. And now I'm gonna continue on the other side and then later on I'm gonna make everything like a little bit more messy. Now that I'm done with this section, I'm gonna take down the next section and I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take it down and I'm gonna split it down the middle and just bring everything to the front. So it's gonna look something like this and then I'm gonna take down the front and I'll start 
playing with it and shaping it out how I like it. And so at this point, what I'll probably do is just flip my head and sort of zhuzh it and um, just like shake it out a little bit to make it more voluminous. And so I like my hair parted to the side and sort of big. Um, you could probably, I don't know if you could see, but obviously my hair is colored and I have bleach in it um, and I put heat to it. So um, I do have some breakage. So at this point I would just put like um, an oil in it and I use the whey rose oil and it looks like that. And um, it does, I have, I tend to have drier hair. It doesn't make my hair greasy at all, um, but if you do have maybe like thinner hair, hair that tends to get greasy, maybe you could use some sort of volumizing spray or some sort of dry shampoo. I don't really like using sprays in my hair because my hair tends to really like take on the product and it'll harden and I don't really like the way that it feels. So I tend to stick to oils. Um, so I'll just like run this through the ends and also through the front since I have some breakage. And then what I'll do now is just sort of set the ends and I'm gonna set it with, I'm totally gonna butcher the name, it's called Leonore Grail and it's a styling cream and it looks like that. And I got this off of Violet Grey. It's a little bit pricey but you really don't need that much. I use about that much. And I only use it in the ends and it really does last a while so. And it just like gives the ends some texture and sets them in place. Again, if your hair tends to fall throughout the day, then um, I would probably use some sort of hairspray. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys liked it. I feel like it was a really quick and easy way to achieve that professional salon blow dried look. And this is really my go-to and I don't want that beachy wave vibe and I want something a little bit more polished. This is definitely what I go for. So I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.